Okay, guys, this is the second one from the four-part harmonization sheet I had you do. This has been probably easier for you because it's giving you the actual Roman numeral analysis. You have to write in all four parts, though. That's the only big difference here. So we're in the key of D. The next chord that it's asking you to do is a 5-4-2 of a 4. Okay, so a 4 chord would be, in the key of D, a G chord. So our G, B, D chord, and then um, the the obviously the fifth of that chord would be your D, and we have to make it a full major minor seventh chord D F sharp A C. So the notes in that chord are going to be D F sharp A and C. So the C, since this is 4-2 inversion, is what's going to be in the bass. So we're going to put a C here, but notice I'm about to put a C natural. It's because Cs are sharp in the key of D. The other notes can be basically exactly where the other ones are. The A here, the D in the alto, and the F sharp in the soprano. So in this next chord, we have a 4-6. So we're just going to go to a 4 chord in first inversion. The B will be in the bass. And then we need a G, put the G in the tenor, the D in the alto, keep that the same, and then have the soprano go up to G there. 265 would be E, G, B, D. I'm just going to write those notes up here briefly. E, G, B, D. And we want the G in the bass because it's 6 5 inversion. So I'll cross out that G. We can't use the G in the tenor because we just use the G. So we got to find something else. So the next closest note would be, I would actually bring it up to here, the B. And believe it or not, this looks really odd, but that is how I would do that. The E against the D, right up against each other. Okay, that's totally legal. Now we need a five with a four, three suspension. Well, a five chord would be an A. So let's just put our A in there for a minute. I know that probably should be a half note, but I'm not worried about that for now. So we need A, C, E. That's what a five chord is, but it's asking for a four, three suspension. So a fourth above A is D. Now you know that you have to properly prepare a suspension with the same note. So the voice part that has the D in the previous chord becomes your preparation. There it is in the alto. So we put the D there, and it's going to resolve down to the C sharp. So that's where your suspension is. Your 4-3 is going to be in the alto. Preparation, suspension, resolution. We need our E, which we'll keep right in the soprano. And then we need the A right in the tenor. Again, this should have been a half note, so apologies for that. Okay, there's our fourth suspension, then you just go to a one, which would be D in the bass, A in the tenor, back up to D, and then F sharp. That's a much easier one. Now, that, that took me, I don't know, four minutes at most, suggested time, 10 minutes. If anything is like that, you guys are going to nail it. So there you go. That's the much easier one of the two of them. Hope this was helpful.